hours. An hour or two. Hours or like 20 minutes a day. Maybe like three hours. Two hours a day. Probably an hour or so at least every day. Maybe 15 minutes a day. An app that could have the most harm it would probably be Snapchat. Snapchat. Snapchat or Instagram. It'd be Snapchat or anything else where the content disappears. I think Tinder is a very dangerous social media app. Snapchat and Instagram. It was helpful to me recently. I uh, was at a prayer night. I had kind of a um, question I was asking of God and really wrestling with it. And um, the next morning, someone um, random who I happen to be friends with on social media posted a C.S. Lewis quote that spoke so directly to that thing. Um, so God used social media to speak to me. I like Facebook because it keeps me connected with the people in South Africa. One of the dangers I see in social media is people substitute face-to-face -face conversation, interaction with virtual interactions. I've seen people, they they are not having fun somewhere, but they are trying to look like they are having fun. Um, I think it's dangerous for our society um, to post and show others what they want to see as opposed to the reality of what's going on, because I think it gives unrealistic expectations for what life actually looks like. One of the dangers of social media is that you can get caught up in the game of comparison by looking at other people's lives and like, man, wish I had that. But in reality, it's probably not. They're just putting up a face and it's just a comparison of trying to one-up each other, but it's end up not being grounded on reality. A word of advice that I give to a parent for, about social media would be to become involved your, with your kids' social media. Not only should you be aware of what social media they're using, but also seeing what they see in social media. It's hard to keep track of what kids are actually doing online, so there are a lot of secret apps second accounts, things that disappear and are hard to keep track of. Try to have conversations with your kids about um, how to behave online, how to conduct themselves, what's appropriate. Don't give them a warning, just say give me your phones, what's your password, and just look at all their conversations and you'll discover what's going on in their lives. Mm -hmm.